Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners 2019 on how to make a deposit from undeposited funds. Okay, so in QuickBooks, uh, a bank deposit, typically this is going to be set up this way, a deposit or a payment from a customer uh, is going to be automatically like a default to go to what's called undeposited funds. All right, so the purpose of undeposited funds is that let's say you get paid from customers throughout the week and you go to the bank once a week. All right, so it's designed so that it's kind of like a holding account so that you don't think you have more in your checking account than you actually do or your savings or whatever bank account it is. So it's this holding account and then when you take that money to the bank and make the actual physical deposit, um, that's when you're going to show it transferring from undeposited funds to your bank account. And that way you have an accurate read on how much you actually have in your checking or savings or whatever bank account it is. So it's a way to make sure that you don't think you have more in your account than you actually do. Okay. So I want to show you how to make a deposit from undeposited funds. So first I want to go up here and I want to say receive payment because I want to walk you through uh, what this looks like. Okay, so we have Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Uh, we'll say that she paid by check, and we'll say that it's 25487, and we're gonna check this one off. So it's $239, she still owed 239 on this invoice, and so we got a payment. So you'll see here that it says deposit to undeposited funds. All right, so we're just gonna click save and close. So this, we're gonna assume this was a payment that we received throughout the week, you know, just in business and we got this check in the mail. All right, so now we're going to the bank. Okay, let's say it's uh, Friday afternoon and we wanna go to the bank. You're gonna go to your quick create uh, menu up here and you're gonna see this option that says bank deposit. All right, so when we go to the bank, you'll see we've got these three payments here one from 1014 and two from 918. All right. Now what you want to make sure that you do, instead of just checking all these off and saying, uh, you know, doing this every once in a while, you know, so you may go two weeks and, and not move any of the undeposited funds to your checking account. You know, I understand people get busy and then do it all at once. All right. So when you do this in QuickBooks, it's going to show the total deposit of 230152. Now, the issue comes in if these are not the deposits you physically actually made to the bank. All right. You want to make sure that what you check off here matches exactly what you take to the bank. All right. So let's say that last week you took these two to the bank and that total deposit at the bank was 2062 and 52 cents. All right. Now, the reason you want to make sure that these match is because when you go to reconcile your checking account in QuickBooks, you want the deposits to match what's on the bank statement. Otherwise, you are going to have a heck of a time reconciling your account. Uh, you may not be able to. All right. So you want to make sure that you check off the exact deposits that you are taking to the bank uh, and make sure that it matches what's here in QuickBooks. Very, very, very important. Okay. So let's say in this case that, you know, for whatever reason, we're just taking Amy's birth sanctuary, uh, $239. We want to make sure that our deposit slip, or if we're doing remote deposit, that that total deposit matches this. And when it does, you say 239, took it to the bank. We had, you know, saving new or saving close, whatever the case may be. And now that $239 was moved from undeposited funds over to my checking account. All right, it's that simple. But the important thing is making sure that that total deposit you're moving in QuickBooks matches what you physically took to the bank. Okay. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment, question below. Happy to answer those. Uh, also, head over to the QuickBooks University. Love to have you as a member over there. Uh, it's a one time fee, it's not a membership thing. It's a, you don't pay over and over and over again, uh, at least not at this point. Okay. Uh, but head over there now, qbuniversity.org.